DevOps is a relatively new practice. As the name suggests, DevOps consists of two parts, development and IT operations. We can think of DevOps as a natural extension of Agile because they are based on similar principles. It aims to shorten the system's development life cycle and provide continuous delivery with high software quality. DevOps speeds up the process by means of developing and testing much smaller chunks of code and then deploying them continuously into production. What makes DevOps great is that we can release more often, test more precisely, and receive feedback from production on the go. Eventually, we are delivering more value to our customers more often. The main principles of DevOps are explained by the CAMS model, which was created by Damon Edwards and John Willis. CMS stands for Culture, Automation, Measurement, and Sharing. Let's look at these four DevOps principles in detail in order to understand what each entails. Principle 1. Culture. Even though we use some pretty advanced technology and tools in DevOps, at the core of what we're trying to solve are problems related to people and business. Culture is defined by the interaction of people and groups and is driven by behavior. Substantial communication improvement can result when there is a mutual understanding of others and their goals and responsibilities. So, in order to get all the benefits of DevOps, First, we need to bridge the gap between development, quality assurance, and operations by setting the right culture. Traditional information technology business models split developers and IT operations into two distinct groups. DevOps culture principle, on the other hand, suggests having shared responsibilities between development and IT operations teams. This guarantees that the development team will be involved in software maintenance on the production while understanding deployment requirements better. At the same time, the IT operations team can have a better grasp on the functional needs of a system. Another important aspect of culture principle is that DevOps is centered around a business-oriented mindset of all team members. Basically, we are removing any silos in communication between the team members and stakeholders. That gives us a better understanding of business objectives and ensures that each team member takes personal responsibility for the product's success. Changing the business culture by sharing responsibility and getting development and IT operations teams on the same page is a major goal of DevOps. Principle two, automation. We all know that automation can save time, effort, and money. The automation principle focuses on people and processes and not just tools. The backbone of DevOps is the practices of continuous delivery and continuous integration. This implies that we are constantly pushing the code to our testing and staging environments, as well as deliver it to production. Unlike traditional deployment of large chunks of code in DevOps, we can deploy each time there is a production-ready bit of code. Frequent updates make it vital to run tests faster and monitor code on production, which leads us to the general idea of automating the whole pipeline. In DevOps, this is accomplished by creating pipelines that perform code testing, integration, deployment, monitoring, and feedback exchange automatically. Principle 3. Measurement. Using measurements will help in determining if progress is being made in the intended direction. The automation of a feedback loop provides valuable insights about the features deployed on production. As we are dealing with the smaller chunks of code, the culprits are much easier to spot and fix. DevOps measurement principle encourages you to see the forest from the trees by taking a look at the entire operation and assessing it as a whole and not just focusing on small parts. DevOps teams should develop and track certain key metrics in order to help check their systems. These metrics can include things like lead time, the time it takes to implement, test, and deploy code, deployment frequency, change failure rate, average time to recovery, average time between failures and defect escape rate. Overall, by measuring various key performance indicators, the team should strive to continuously improve their systems and IT operations. Principle four, sharing. Sharing is caring. This phrase explains the DevOps philosophy better than anything else as it highlights the importance of collaboration. It is crucial to share feedback, best practices, and knowledge among teams since this promotes transparency, creates collective intelligence, and eliminates constraints. DevOps processes, similar to Agile and Scrum, place a very high premium on transparency and openness. When everyone on the team is open, this helps in building trust and fun working environment. Transparency ensures that every team member can see and measure the progress and work towards a common goal. Besides, spreading knowledge helps to tighten feedback loops and enables the organization to continuously improve. This collective intelligence makes the team a more efficient unit and allows it to become greater than just the sum of its parts. Given the CAMS model, it is now clear that the pure automation component of the build and delivery chain is only a small part of DevOps. In reality, DevOps is not just an automation tool, but way more than that. It is a culture and a state of mind which uses the same concepts as agility and lean principles. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate it if you smashed the like button. 
Also make sure to subscribe to the Coding Tech channel and click on the notification bell. Enjoy the rest of your day.